Hi, this is Linda from So Sweet Crafts. I'm glad you could join me today. I have another journal to show you. This is one that I showed you the cover a couple of videos ago that I um, I handmade the cover with uh, the French knots and everything. I just have it tied with some sari silk because I don't want to cover up the embroidery. If you can see, there's French knots. I pieced all this lace together. And there's the back. And I covered this book with it. Um, on the side, I just made a simple ribbon with sari silk because I didn't want to cover it up with a big tassel. And uh, there's a little acorn here with some dried flowers in it. This journal has five signatures. Um, it's six by nine by two inch spine has 77 sides or 77 pages and 154 sides. I call it lace and leaves because it's kind of a naturey type journal. I've used regular uh, scrapbooking paper for the the uh, pockets and things and I've used um, Nick the Booksmith's Prairie Flowers kit in here. I've sewed lace around a lot of the um, pockets and also the page edges. There's a pocket here. Uh, and some of these are Mrs. Cog's images. Some of them are uh, Tracy Fox. I put a little um, bulb pin here with some beads on it. There's a frog. Uh, this one, I put tracing paper over some of the tags and then fussy cut and put some leaves and vines and things over the tags. You can write on the back. I like the way it shows through. There's a pocket here. I've also used an old book that I found. Um, all the paper's coffee dyed. I've used some doily. There's a page of the old book. There's some coffee dyed ledger paper. I've also made envelopes from some of the pages. You can put things in. Here's another page where I fussy cut some things out. There's lace. It's another one of these tags that I have the tracing paper over. I've used sari silk throughout uh, on the ends of the, the ties. I put beads and they're thin enough so that they, they close. I mean, the book closes okay with them. This is a tag that you can write inside. It's a partridge, I think it's a partridge. some mods. Another page from the book. Lace doily. I've also put some quotes in here. Just on the, um, the thin paper. This is a fold out. It's kind of a secret place that you can write things. And this is a journaling place. I'm not going to put it all back together right now. <laughs> okay. Another pocket. Some ledger. There's another quote about flowers. There's a little key here. A side tuck. Another prairie flower. 
On the back, I printed um, graph paper for writing on the back of all the prairie flowers. There's some more beads here. Beautiful coffee dye. Uh, I've also included a couple booklets. Just for extra notes. more ledger, some more other prairie flowers. And birds. Um, I have a bird book that I cut the birds out of. I think it's an observer's book of British birds. I think that's what it is. There's another envelope. These are large envelopes. You can put lots of things in them. Some more beads in the signature. Nick's um, prairie flowers are beautiful. Here's another secret opening. There's a couple beads here on a bulb pen. A couple tags to write. A side tuck. I like that tag. This one I have the lace. I have a, a lace doily that I cut up and got all those medallions out of. Thrushes. Here's some extra writing paper with the graph and two more of these. Here's some extra writing paper, it's blank on the back and the nuthatch family. There's a little butterfly and more beads on the signature. Here's the second little book, little notebook. And I did sew those together as well. So you can take them out or leave them in. Another tag. I do like how these tags came out. Daffodils come before the swallow dares and take the winds of March with beauty. We all know that one. It's a hydrangea flower. Corner tuck, more lace. Another envelope. There's three of these large envelopes in here. And more beads on the strings. Some more beads up here. A tag, more lace. And another tag and another card. Lots of places to write. Put your pictures in. Blue Jay, side tuck. And there's your book plate on the back. And there's the back. I hope you enjoyed this.
it's going to be for sale in my Etsy store. And I, um, I hope that you'll hit subscribe and click on the bell next to the subscribe button. And then it will let you know when I have more videos available. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye.